You must think it's strange that I'm in command of a slave ship owned by Amos Clough. You still have your Bible, I think. God has given you very little in life. Mr. Amos taught me to speak English with this book. But God's words have taught me so much more. God's words? Surely just written by mere mortal men. It wasn't God who came in the night and gave me food and saved my life. You were treated so very poorly by Mr. Clark. I was flogged on board His Majesty's Man of War, as I was, for desertion. <laughs> and now I'm in command of a slave ship. I'm the captain of a slave ship. I've learned to expect nothing from God. I remember one night, the slave factory, Cried out in the dark, speak to me, Father. Your servant listens. Huge roars split the heavens. I fell to my knees. I saw the trees bow in his honor. I heard the Lord speak my name in the rustle of the palm leaves. God spoke to me. Tell me this, Elias. Why does your just and merciful God? condemn good people like you and me to slavery. There are no good people, Janet. We are all dogs, hunted, shacked, and enslaved. That is why we are gone. What's going on? He was trying to hang himself, Captain. What is he saying? Esaias! He wants to die. Tell him we're taking him to a better place, a new life. Ulurumbu. Ulurumbu. Ulurumbu! Ulurumbu! If you want me about Shiva Lombabi, sir! He wants his freedom. <laughs> Some of them are starving themselves too, Captain. This is Felly Makaira, Mr. Davy. I can't have slaves killing themselves. One is gravely ill. Her son, I don't know. What is it? The flocks, Captain. There's nothing to be done. Your great grandfather was on that ship, Samuel. A boy struggling to hold on to hope. His survival tied to the fate of Captain Newcomb. Come on in. 